welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well, wherever you are. So it is early morning for us and it today is a grocery haul. I'm making me a smoothie. I'm getting ready to jet out the door. We're gonna be hitting up Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. We need to re-up on a lot of things and I thought I would just bring you guys along with us, bring you along and just show you some of the things that we have been loving. So right now I have been really focused on getting healthy. As you know, I'm on a get healthy journey. I have really been eliminating a lot of things from my diet and I just wanted to bring you guys along and show you what I have been eating for help. So without further ado, let's jump into this video and head to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. is done checked off the list we just arrived at trader joe's now we're gonna run in here and get what i need so i did get a good um bulk of what i needed at whole foods but there were just some items that i had to come to my tried and true for because whole foods prices sometimes you know Trader Joe's is ride or die, a die hard. I've been shopping at Trader Joe's for many, many moons now. And I used to do about 90% of my shopping here, but now I'm finding myself doing like 50-50. So we got what we needed at Whole Foods. Gonna run in here and get a couple of things. Then we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you guys everything that we got. are back home with the goods. I'm gonna get everything unbagged, get everything out of the bag, and then I'm gonna show you what goodies we got. So stay tuned. And it is kind of a pain in the butt having to go to two different stores, but it is what it is. We do what we gotta do. Sometimes I go to one store earlier in the week and then I go to the other one later on in the week, or sometimes I go to both in the same day, like we did today. But let me go ahead and get everything out so we can put everything up in the freezer before it starts to thaw.
everything is all unpacked and it's a lot to talk about here, okay? This was a big grocery haul for me. Like I said, I went to two different stores. I just laid everything out and I'm just gonna go down and just show you guys what I have and talk about it just a little bit. This grocery haul is for a family of four. This is like a family movement. I'm, I was the one that made the decision that I wanted to get healthy, so that means the whole family has to get healthy. Everybody is gonna be eating this stuff. Not just me, obviously, it's gonna be for everybody. So, some of this stuff I won't be eating. It's for the kids. Still like to give them snacks and treats when possible with clean ingredients. And so, that is what I have done here. So, some of this stuff won't be for me. It will be for the kids and my husband. Most of the snacks are for them and the rest is for me. But, let's just jump into this. For starters, back here, I got some oranges. Then I picked up some more Dijon mustard. I made sure it was a gluten-free one. One because I am avoiding all gluten at the moment. So I like to make a lot of my dressings with Dijon mustard, so I got some more of that. Then I got some more of this aloe vera juice. So aloe vera is supposed to be very healing for the gut. Then we got lots of cilantro. We got about three bundles of cilantro for our heavy detox smoothie that we do. We got dandelion greens for another detox juice that I make. Some of this New Zealand artisan water. I love this stuff. This one's from Trader Joe's. Then we got some pantry staples here. So I picked up some beef bone broth and some chicken broth. Very clean ingredients in both of those. Picked up some more of this butter. This is from Vital Farms. So I like this butter because it's just butter with sea salt and avocado oil. The ingredients are very clean on that as well. So we got some more sauerkraut. Great probiotic here. This one is at Trader Joe's. Got some more vanilla extract. Then we jumping into the fruit. We got some cantaloupe, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, bananas, peaches, grapes, apples, lemons, avocados, all the fruit. And then some pantry staples here. We got some wild Alaskan pink salmon. I use this when I'm making like salmon cake. And this is the coconut milk that I use when I'm making protein shakes. So I really love this coconut milk because it has very clean ingredients. So all this is is water and organic coconut. So it doesn't have any of those fillers or gums. So I'll usually open this can and then just add it to a mason jar and add, put it in the refrigerator when I'm making protein shakes. So I've been getting those. Those are from Trader Joe's. Very good price. They're like $1.39. Can't beat that. So I'm not having any bread or grains right now, but my kids still love bread. So I've been getting this one and it's a sprouted one, which is a better alternative just because sprouted grains are easier to digest. Also picked up some tea. This was from Whole Foods. So this is an everyday detox. This has the dandelion. And then I also got some nettle leaf. Moving on to some greens. I ended up getting some organic arugula. I got this one at Trader Joe's. Two bundles of celery. So I typically use the celery in dishes, salads or whatever, and then I like to juice a lot of celery. So I will usually do the celery with my dandelion greens, one apple, cucumber, and lemon. And that is a very good detox. If you haven't checked that video out, you can check it out right here. I do that detox juice on a regular. So that's why I have the celery, and I definitely love the celery from Whole Foods because I can find it organic and it just looks better. I'm Trader Joe's for some reason, their celery is kind of iffy. Then we picked up some more coconut water of course this is a must from Trader Joe's and the price actually just kind of went up like 20 cents you know things are going up so that went up also got some asparagus and I'm gonna be making my own kimchi so I got a head a small head of cabbage now since I'm not having bread I have been using these cauliflower slims from Trader Joe's as a bread substitute. So the past weekend I tried these when we made hamburgers. We cooked out and I made hamburgers and I had it with this toasted and it was so good. It was almost better than bread, honestly. So these are at Trader Joe's. Whole Foods does have an option as well. They are a little bit more pricier. So that's why I wanted to get these at Trader Joe's and it's very clean ingredients as well. So some more vegetables. I got some organic Brussels sprouts and I think that's pretty much it for the fruits and vegetables. So on to some of the meat. And I do have a subscription to um, Butcher Box. So a lot of my meats do arrive at my front door. But because we've been grilling out over the weekend for 4th of July and stuff, we kind of ran through our meats and I just needed to get a couple of things while I was at the store. So I did pick up some bacon. Hubby loves bacon. I've kind of not really been having bacon so much, but he does enjoy it. So I made sure to get one that was uncured, sugar-free, nitrate-free. It is organic, which is very hard to find pork 
organic pork is very hard to find. And all this is is pork bellies, sea salt, and celery powder. Very clean ingredients, so that is a win for Babe. So I got one to put in the deep freezer and then one that I will cook for him this weekend. So I got some 100% grass-fed ground beef patties for hamburgers. And then I also picked up some grass-fed ribeye steak. So I got two of those, one for me and one for him. So while we were at Whole Foods, I picked up some sausage patties. These are for breakfast and pasture-raised eggs. So you already know all eggs are not created equal. Pasture-raised is the best and organic if possible. So I didn't get the eggs at Whole Foods because I thought I was just gonna get them at Trader Joe's. And when I got there, they were out of the organic pasture-raised. All they had was the pasture-raised, which is the next best thing. So I got those because I wasn't gonna go to another store. So typically I would get organic pasture rays but today we're gonna have to settle for just pasture rays so i got some wild blueberries because that is how i make my heavy metal detox smoothie as well as my protein shakes i prefer to use the wild blueberries and then from trader joe's i got a pasture raised whole chicken we got some uncured salami some uncured black forest ham and these all have fairly clean ingredients we got some grass-fed cheese we did get some more hot dogs. This is the only kind I usually buy because they are 100% grass-fed, pasture-raised beef, have very clean ingredients. There's no mystery meat here. It is just grass-fed beef with sea salt, vinegar, garlic, paprika, spices, dehydrated onion, celery powder, and cherry powder. So it's not mystery meat, fairly clean ingredients, but you only get, what, six hot dogs. So then I picked up a bunch of these chomps. The girls love these. These are again, grass fed, grass finished, all stick without the egg, no sugar. So those are good snacks that my girls enjoy. Got these for babe. There are peanut butter and jelly fruise balls. They are delicious. Very clean ingredients again. They are made with dates, peanuts, coconut, apple juice, pear, strawberry, elderberry juice, and pink salt. So very clean ingredients. I picked up two of those. Tatiana loves pistachios, so I got her some more pistachios. And now we are heading into the snack portion of, you know, now we're heading into the junk food portion of what I buy to have in the house. So my girls love seaweed snacks. I get a six pack of these from Trader Joe's. It's just organic seaweed with sea salt. They get those. Then I've been purchasing these plantain chips. These are from Whole Foods. These are so good. And all it is is plantains, coconut oil, and Himalayan pink sea salt. So the main thing is we are avoiding grains and we are avoiding hydrogenated oils. And that is the thing, a lot of processed food, junk food is all cut with those bad oils. So got another bag of these because they are coconut oil. These are another good brand we like. These are an avocado oil. Again, it's just potatoes avocado oil and sea salt very good they have different flavors of those as well then the next brand we've been loving is siete these are the salt and vinegar ones they're a little bit spicy they have a kick to it but they're not too spicy they're really good and these are just potatoes avocado oil vinegar sea salt serrano powder and citric acid very clean ingredients and for the last chip is these paleo puffs this is by the lesser girl these are the paleo puffs they're grain free and it's the no cheese cheese so they taste like cheese but there isn't any cheese in here all it is is organic cassava flour coconut oil tapioca starch tapioca solid sweet potato powder sea salt nutritional yeast which is what gives it the cheesy flavor organic coconut flour organic baker's yeast organic garlic powder onion powder so very clean ingredients my girls love these so they're like cheese puffs without the gunk so we got those we got the sea salt and this is all stuff that we'll just have stocked in our pantry also picked up some grain free baking powder i just discovered looking at the ingredients that baking powder has corn starch in it so I didn't want anything with corn. I wanted it to be gluten free. So I picked this one up. This one just has cassava starch. So it replaces that corn starch. 
Then this is a dessert for my girls. This is the one we do buy if we do buy cereal. They have a chocolate one as well. The girls really like that one. But this one has very clean ingredients as well. All it has is cassava, sunflower protein, maple syrup, coconut oil, strawberries, blueberries, vanilla extract, and lemon extract. So they don't eat this in the morning for breakfast. It's usually more like a snack or a dessert. But I did get that as a snack. And the last snack for them is these fruit rolls. So it's no added sugar, it's 100% natural. This is the bare fruit rolls. And it comes in a pack of five. There's literally no sugar. And the ingredients are clean as can be. They are apples, pears, raspberries, and black carrot extract. And that is it. Something like a candy for my girls to have. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys is this nori. So I got some organic untoasted nori because I'm planning to make like a cauliflower sushi. So I'm gonna try my hand at that. It's a recipe in one of my books. So I picked this up so that I can try my hand at that. And then two household items is this toothpaste. This is the toothpaste that I've been using for the girls. I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, well, Lelda, I don't know. This is the toothpaste that I've been using for the girls. So very clean ingredients. Again, this is the one. I'm also using one by this brand, but it's the salt. And then I picked up some Dr. Bronner's Organic Shaving Soap. So I like to use this when I'm shaving. And this lasts a pretty long time because I had one prior to this and it lasts me forever. So I ran out and I just picked up a new one. This one was at Whole Foods. This is a lot of stuff, you guys. It's starting to get room temperature and I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything put away. But this is what our grocery haul from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's looks like for my family of four. Just wanted to bring you guys along and share with you some of the things that I've been eating and giving to my family to keep us healthy. We are on a road to getting healthy and I want you guys to get healthy with me as well. And that's the purpose of this video, just to show you guys what are the options out there, the alternatives, the swaps, because you don't always have to go cold turkey. You can just find healthier options. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Meet me down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.